We begin the chapter with Richard and Caleb entering the forest after walking away from Michael's house. Richard attempts to apologize on Michael's behalf, and Caleb won't allow it. Richard then refers to himself as a seeker of the truth, and Caleb begins what turns into a long tradition of confusing Richard by yelling at him and then changing the subject. Richard's hand is mentioned as a growing problem with dizziness as a new symptom. Richard notices tracks on the trail leading up to his house. A sudden lack of spider webs to peel off their faces means someone else came along and broke them earlier. They carefully continue towards Richard's house, and when they get there, they see his house has been torn apart. Richard says that even though it's dangerous, there's something at his house he will not leave behind. Something inside him strongly warned him to get away. Richard retrieves his backpack as well as the tooth his father gave him and is able to slip away to safety. Richard hides the tooth because he never lets anyone see it. Richard comes back and Kaylin asks why he needed to risk his life for a backpack. Richard reminds her that she's still keeping many more secrets from him than he is keeping from her. They leave Richard's house and he notes that he needs to find a place to spend the night. Richard mentions being sapped of all strength as he walked. Kaylin grabs Richard's wrist and stops him from swatting a fly. He's told by Kaylin he needs to be still and quiet or they'll both be killed by a powerful monster. Gar leaves and he pays the heavy price of being terrified and bloodied yet again. Richard tells Kaylin that his repeated brushes with death make him entitled to some of the information that Kaylin has and she agrees, so long as she does not need to answer any questions about herself. We learn that as a small child, Richard was sick with a fever and Zed was able to find a route that made him well. For safety, the two decide to continue further down the trail and find a different wayward pine to spend the evening in. Thank you for watching this episode of Seeking the Truth about the Sword of Truth, Just the Facts. Tune in in a couple of days when I will be posting the in-depth analysis of the chapter covered in this episode. If you want to make sure that you remember to come back for the full video, take a moment to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications, and then you won't miss any videos. I would also invite you to join the official Facebook group for Seeking the Truth about the Sword of Truth. Everyone is welcome. All that I ask is everyone who comes remember that everyone is supposed to feel welcome. Thank you for watching, and until we meet again, I hope that you live well. Thank you.